He was dismissed, he was ridiculed, he was ignored, but a Beaverton man who's been fighting to change rules regulating yellow lights and red light cameras can claim victory tonight. <laughs> and he's very excited. The international organization that sets traffic control formulas agreed that the equation needs to be rewritten. Our Dan Token explains his six year fight to try to get somebody to listen to him. No city in our region hands out tickets faster than Beaverton. And this man had something to say about the math formula that determines if a red light camera flashes and you get a ticket. So decades and decades and decades this has been being used incorrectly? Yes. That blows my mind. Well, I can prove it. Mats Jarlström is a Swedish-born electronics expert. He became obsessed with proving red light cameras were flawed after his wife was caught on camera right here. Jarlstrom says drivers often get caught in a no man's land or dilemma zone where they're making turns and get caught by red light they couldn't avoid. I'm here before you for the eighth time. He took his concerns to the Beaverton City Council. So that's where we have the civil rights violation. Can you wrap up please, Matt? It's, you yep. have the five minutes. Eventually, Jarlstrom got some validation from this man. Professor Alexei Meridudin is one of the original researchers who designed the equation regulating yellow lights. He sent this letter to the Institute of Transportation Engineers, or ITE, which helped set national traffic policy, saying, Jarlstrom was right. This formula cannot be applied to turning lanes or to any situation where the driver must decelerate. That was four years ago. Why is no one willing to listen? I don't know. But Charleston persisted through two lawsuits and even a fine from the state accusing him of practicing engineering without a license. Until finally, now, ITE sent this letter saying he is right. The equation does not fully cover several dilemma zone situations for left turn and right turn movements, meaning the formula should finally be rewritten. Dan Tilkin, Coin 6 News. And also, Jarlstrom got this news last night, which just happened to be his birthday. We wanted to interview him about his victory, but he told us he is out of town celebrating.